The northern kingdom of Israel had turned from God and been destroyed by their enemies. The southern kingdom of Judah was also in trouble. God was angry with the people of Judah. They did not obey him. They lived however they wanted to live. They sinned and were unfaithful to God. God loved his people. He didn't want to destroy them. God sent prophets like Jeremiah to warn the kings and people to stop sinning and turn back to God. But they didn't listen. So God sent his judgment by bringing the king of Babylon to Judah. King Nebuchadnezzar invaded Judah and took some of God's people, the best and most intelligent men, to Babylon. He left Jehoiakim in Judah as king. When Jehoiakim rebelled, Nebuchadnezzar invaded again and took more people captive. Zedekiah was on the throne in Judah when the prophet Jeremiah sent a message to Babylon to encourage God's people. This is what Jeremiah's letter said. This message is from God to the people he sent from Jerusalem to Babylon. While you are in Babylon, build houses and live in them. Plant gardens and grow your families. Work and pray for the good of your city. The exile will last 70 years and then I will come. I promise to bring you back to the land of Judah and I will keep my promise. I know my plans for you, God declared. My plans are for your good. You have hope and a future. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. God promised to restore his people's riches and bring them back home. Jeremiah told the people they would experience more troubles. In the face of their powerful enemies, the Babylonians, God knew they would feel hopeless. So Jeremiah shared what God would do. God said, I will set you free and raise up a king for you. Do not be afraid or discouraged. I will save you and be with you. I will bring you back to your land and you will rejoice. You will be my people and I will be your God. God did not abandon his people. The prophet Jeremiah encouraged God's people. He said God was going to save his people from captivity and raise up a new king, a forever king, from David's family.